As we wrap up this exciting week, it's time to look ahead to 2025 and we're headed down under. Enrico Palermo and Jeremy Hallett are in studio now to discuss IAC 2025 in Sydney. So first of all, thank you so much for being here. It's Hi Alessandro, be it's wonderful to be in Milano. Enrico, how exciting it is to have the next year's Congress in your home country. But we know this isn't the first time we've been in Australia, right? Because we remember Melbourne and Adelaide, but also Sydney again. So we're thrilled to be hosting and honoured to be hosting uh, the 76th uh, International Astronautical Congress in Sydney. Uh, Sydney is a, a wonderful city, very different from Melbourne and Adelaide, and it's a moment to to celebrate uh, what's been happening in Australia's space system, but also the wonderful international partnerships uh, we have. So a lot of excitement building around the nation. Uh, we see this very much as a, a movement, a continuation in Australia's story in space, not just, not just a Congress. Jeremy, this is a great opportunity for you to showcase the rapid progress and expansions of uh, Australia Space Agency. So what can attendees expect to learn? The Australian space sector has been growing rapidly. More space companies in Australia have been putting spacecraft in space than in the entirety of our history, which is something to celebrate. Australia is on the cusp of becoming the sought after destination for high cadence space flight and returns. And our big and dark skies are amazing, is an amazing resource for us to keep track of spacecraft and space debris through space situational awareness. And thinking about science, it's perfect for astronomy and planetary science as well. And we're looking to highlight all of that at IAC in Sydney next year. Nice. So, Enrico, how does IAC 2025 aim to advance space in the Indo-Pacific region? So we're, we're a proud nation, obviously, in the Indo-Pacific region. And we, we describe this IAC as an IAC not for Australia, but for the region. Uh, if you look at space technologies, they're critical to supporting all our partner nations. Uh, as we're afflicted with climate change, we know we need space-enabled data to, to understand how our planet's changing, to understand um, um, how we can mitigate those. But it's also a rapidly growing part of the world's space economy. This is only, I think, the sixth time IAC has been held in the Southern Hemisphere. And you know, if you look from what India is achieving and Japan and Korea and many of our, our, our close neighbours in space, it's a dynamic part of the world and I think it's part of the world maybe that's not fully understood by the space community. So it's an opportunity for the global space community to connect with the region. There's immense uh, opportunities for partnership and investment and we really welcome the world to, to come explore. So nice. So, uh, Jeremy, how does space benefit both businesses but also the everyday lives of those uh, living in Australia? The Australian economy is uh, built upon the access to space services. Approximately 50% of our gross domestic product, product comes from the exploitation of our natural resources, mining, oil and gas, agriculture, fisheries, forestry. All of those industries are enabled by space capability, including remote sensing from spacecraft, uh, telecommunications for that remote connectivity, and in the robotics to achieve those ambitions from uh, precise precision navigation and timing. And if we extend that to the Indo-Pacific region, uh, it, it's, it's a region made up of thousands of islands that are all populated, and space is the unifying factor for all those islands. Space is how we communicate with all those countries and all of those people and space is how we monitor the activities here on Earth, whether it be for fisheries monitoring, for monitoring and mitigating the effects of climate change, uh, and, and also providing telehealth and, and tele-education services to the region. For attendees, uh, what are your must-see attractions in Sydney, and what local pieces of Sydney should they expect to experience? Well, clearly Sydney Harbour is a gem. Uh, Sydney is, is a world-renowned city, it's a beautiful city. Uh, I'd encourage delegates just to get on a ferry and, and take a ferry ride to Manly. There's beautiful beaches along the coast, but Sydney is, uh, I think, one of the most beautiful cities in the world and just get out on the water and experience it. Wow, so nice. Any other advice? It's, it's important to remember Australia is such a young country and Sydney at the epicentre of that is incredibly multicultural. It's incredibly diverse and incredibly, uh, it's made up of incredible uh, alternative uh, lifestyles and cultures that you can see all in one small space. And so I encourage the whole space community to come and sample all of that in one location that's easy to access and safe to visit. We can't wait to be there for 2025. We can't Absolutely, wait. can't wait to have you. Thank you so much for being here and for your time. My pleasure. Thank you.